Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping Hat. I am back with my noobs guide for Elden Ring. In the last episode, we were working on the mountaintops of the giants, but the video was getting kind of long, so I decided to just stop it there. So in this episode, we will be finishing this area and probably fighting the boss here as well. And even going into this area to at least unlock it and check it out. Now, before we do anything, I do want to point something out that I missed. So I'm at this church, and we're going to go get one of these ancient smithing stones. And there's actually a second one that I also forgot to bring up, which I've known about for the last, like, two, three episodes. I just forgot. So if you remember this church behind it, there is actually some wind that you can take up. And we took the wind up, and we got an Ash of War. Well, if we actually go to the front, this is a giant skull here. And if we go into its mouth, we can actually pick up the legendary Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. So now we have two of those, and we have zero of the somber ones, which is kind of a bummer. But let me go and grab this other one real quick, because I have been forgetting to bring this back up. But if we go all the way back down to where we fought the very first great rune boss, Godric, and do you remember the throne room? We talked to the girl. She gave us one of these ancient dragon smithing stones. That's for completing her side quest fully. Now, what we can do is buy one as well. Because I did talk about this guy. And that somebody, I remember hearing that you could get something from this merchant dude. And I was like, oh wait, he's in here. There he is. And then somebody pointed out. Well, yeah, you can get something from him. He sells an ancient dragon smithing stone. So there is another one right there. So we are good now. Oh, yeah. One thing you might have noticed, I decided to go ahead for this episode, just for fun, re-equip the Bloodhound's Fang. I wanted to put this back on because I was thinking about it and I was like, Hmm, I kind of want to use it. It seems like fun. I just want to try it out, especially with my higher stats now. I mean, check out the beautiful stats I have. A ridiculous amount of strength, a ridiculous amount of dexterity. But yeah, I reset the build for that. It's hard to actually show you my real stats. Let me hit the level up button and you can see what my build is currently. Now, I leave it up to you. You could probably get away with using the spear no problem. But I'm going to use this for this episode and try this out because, I mean, for the whole series we were using it. And also, I was using a great shield to block and I right now have one of the best great shields in the whole game. Now, all this stuff down here, I'm going to save this for later. Actually, we will grab it all before we fight this boss. But let's go ahead and head up here because up here we actually have like... Some crazy stuff. First of all, this boss right here is ridiculous. Me and my friends on our very first playthrough, we were doing co-op. I can't tell you how many times we died fighting this boss. I mean, this is a crazy boss. So I want to go and fight it like right away. But first, before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and head to these ruins. Now, we can technically just fast travel over to this grace. I did show how to get this in the last episode. If you remember, I was at the freezing lake. We just went around like this, and then boom, you're right there. But I'm also going to show you something else. I'm going to go ahead and head over to this shack. This is where we fought that guy for the Volcanic Manor contract. And there's going to be some wind here that's going to take us right up to these ruins. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to cut this ahead, and I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, well I'm at the shack now. The wind is over to the left. Now I do want to point something out. There were like some items that I've already picked up. Really basic stuff though, but there are some small items over here. So make sure you pick them up. But let's go ahead and take the wind up. And if you follow this path on this cliff, this is going to take us to a merchant. Make sure you talk to him and make sure that you buy anything that you want from him. Now I do want to talk about... The merchant in general because in the last episode i was talking about a torch that can make invisible enemies visible because we fought that black knife and that black knife was invisible and i went and looked it up and it said that i needed to buy a torch from a hermit merchant and you guys a bunch of you were commenting telling me where to go 
Well, the hermit merchant that I need to go to is in the capital area. And some of you even said north of the capital. So I'm assuming you're talking about this particular guy. Now, I said in that video that I went to like every merchant I could find that was called a hermit merchant. And I couldn't find this torch. So I did go to this guy. But I swear to you, the torch that it mentioned in the wiki was not the torch this guy is selling. People were saying it's the Century Torch. That was not the name when I was looking this up. So again, it could just be a wiki mistake. Trust me, that has happened. I made a whole video about it because of that magic scorpion ring. Oh my god, the wiki was so wrong and incorrect about that ring that I made a video to explain how to do it properly, but also kind of complain about the wiki being so wrong. And so many people in the comments were pointing that out, that they agree on how the wiki was so wrong and confusing about what to do for that quest to get that damn talisman. And that is a very important talisman for any magic build. Any sorcerer would want that talisman. Now these runes over here, this is just straight up sad. I'm gonna be honest, this is a very kind of sad little story here. And also, I did something that I never do in these games. I actually killed this NPC. And the reason why was because I didn't know what to do. On my very first playthrough, I came up here. This thing was talking to me and I'm like, hello, can I talk to you? There was like a door and it's locked. I didn't know how to open it. So I thought, screw it. I'll kill this thing and hope the door opens. No, that's not how you do it. So there's a jellyfish here and she will mention that she's looking for her sister. Now this is where it gets a little sad. So what you can do is if you equip your jellyfish that we got way back in like episode one, we can summon it. And if we do that, she's gonna get real happy because that is her sister. And it's sad because that is our summon. Like, it's kind of like our slave. Like, it's messed up. But look, they both disappear. They're super happy, I guess. But also, we keep the jellyfish. It's not like we lose it. So I think it would have been nice if we would have lost the jellyfish here. Just so that it completes that little story. Like, hey, they reunited and whatever, whatever. But it's a very simple kind of sad little story there but anyway we just got a talisman that's actually a pretty good one by the way for a spell caster so let me show you that it will make it so that spells will cost less fp but you lose some health maximum health i have a feeling i'm missing a small item over here i have a strong feeling that i'm missing a small item over here hello let me look around look I got it. So I knew there was something over here. Die, die, die. Let's pick that up and let's get ready for some pain. So now I'm going to head on over to the Grace. So let's take this path to get there. And then we will go and fight first a little mini boss. And then we will fight a field boss. But I'm telling you, this field boss is kind of crazy. I feel like I'm going to wreck it, but there's a very good chance that I'm not. Now, when you come over here, oh my god, there's these giant skeletons trying to shoot us. If we defeat this little mini boss, though, we don't have to worry about that. And again, there's probably some basic little tiny items scattered around here. I'm kind of just looking now. The beast eye is quivering, so we can get a death root. Watch out. Oh god! Oh, crap. Well, I'm teleporting over here. And again, welcome to the end game. So, I wanted to show you how to get to this grace if you go that way. Here's the thing. That's a very dangerous way to go, as you can tell. So, you would be a lot better off to go this way, like I did in the last episode. Just cut around and come back here and hit the grace. Because, check this out, right over in this little corner is the mini boss. Now I could go recover, but I'm pretty confident I'm going to wreck this boss. So I'm going to go and actually fight the boss right away. 
because this is what you really want to do. I'm going to be honest. Just go ahead from the grace, just ride on over here and take out this boss. And then you don't have to worry about the dumb skeletons. They're not an issue. Main thing down here though is watch out for the stupid, stupid freaking snails. The snails are annoying. It's doing its big attacks. So just get away from that. The horse is of course overpowered against this thing. So just get right up on it and smack it. When it goes up for a melee, just kind of maneuver around it. Watch out for a snail. Hello, snail. Die, snail. I miss this weapon. This weapon is so good. Especially, I'm going to be spamming the Ash of War again. Let's go. Come on, just die. One more hit. Gotcha. So yeah, that's a very easy boss. But you want to take that boss out before you actually try to ride through all those skeletons because that's basically suicide as you can see you get hit by that laser you are freaking dead man all right i'm looking around for some basic items here but i was thinking about using a rune arc because i like to pop one <laughs> no no i'm good i know this boss coming up is probably gonna wreck me it's very high chance i'm gonna get destroyed by this boss Mainly because, I'm going to give you some tips now, this boss has like a super attack that will just flat out kill you. If you're close to this attack, you have to get out of the way of this attack, otherwise you are dead. This attack got me and my friends in co-op killed so many times because we would be like attacking it, doing really good, destroying it. And it was almost dead or something like that. And then it would do this attack and just wipe us all out. Or wipe two of us out. And then the host would pretty much die afterwards. So this is a no joke boss. I am super, super serious here. Let's drink our drink. Let's summon our summon. And let's get on it. Now once we beat this thing, we can go and hit the grace. But we can also just hit the grace at the castle like right now. So we gotta hope the Black Knife actually will be OP and help us out because that would be nice. Yes, Black Knife, you are so awesome. Big thing here is to try to get a good attack off. You know, the big problem with this boss, like all these bosses, and I've complained about them now many times, they're just awkward. These are super awkward bosses. It's super weird. That's the attack, that's the attack. I'm dead. Maybe I'm not. Chug, 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 chug. The aftermath fire is what's like super strong about that. It's so strong. Oh my god, look at the damage this thing does. Leave me alone while I just chug. Black knife, carry me, please. Do that attack again. Okay, I'm just blocking. I can't move. I can't get close to it. Yes, peck, peck, peck away. Follow up. Oh, you're, you're dead. You're dead. All right, we got him. Again, like always, that might look very easy. And it's like, oh, that's a joke. That is not a joke. That boss can wreck you, so watch out. Now, let's go ahead and come over here and get this. This is going to be a Starlight Shard for us. Thank you very much. And again, I'm just looking around. We do have a turtle over here. But there's also a couple more things we can do. I did want to go and fight this boss, and I also wanted to get rid of those skeletons, like, right away. If we're exploring this area over here, because you do not want to run into the skeletons. But I paid with my life trying to go the other way, which was a mistake. Maybe the horse would be okay for that boss? I don't know. If that boss hits you, you're going to get knocked off the horse and just completely wrecked, though. So, right over here, we have the walking turtle mausoleum you know what's really interesting too i pointed this out when i first came here and i have yet to have this happen and it's kind of wild and what that is is that there is that lady she had like a wolf and it was dead and we talked to her we actually talked to her about the crest because there is a secret crest that you can use to get to that extra area that i'm talking about this is where you get the other piece of that crest. Now we've been had the first piece, but a part of that little quest was to go and find that lady with the dead wolf. And when you talk to her and you show her the crest, 
What happens then is that she will say, I'll come with you, and she becomes a summon. Okay, here's the deal. I swear I remember when you're riding down this path here after the chain bridge. Like, I don't really know. Maybe that's not it. No, this is, that's not the chain bridge, but this is a bridge here, right? Where there's the archer. Once you're riding down this path, I remember her like popping up and saying, hey, you're getting close to this castle soul. That's the name of this castle that we're at right now, right? And she'll kind of say the second piece of this elevator key, the seal or whatever it's called, is in this location. She talks to you about it. She did not talk to me at the time and she has yet to talk to me again. I don't know what's going on with her. But let me shut this stupid turtle up because it's very loud. And let's see. Yes, it has white crap on its feet, so we can just attack the white crap on its feet. Awesome. Come on down. And again, probably not going to use this turtle. I always say turtle. It's not. It's a fucking mausoleum, but whatever. It's a freaking turtle, bro. Everyone said that too in the trailer. Very funny. They go, oh my god, that's a giant turtle. Because it is. I'm sorry, right? Alright, smack all this stuff. Please fall over. Are you falling over? No, not yet. At least I don't think so. Please don't, like, stomp me and kill me. That would be awful. Especially when you're almost down. Come on. A couple more, I guess. And let's keep moving. Oh god. You know what's really funny too about that boss I just fought? Oh, it's coming down now, I think. Right? Yes, it is. What's really funny about that boss? Oh god, what the hell? Okay. Well, I already have the thing down here, so whatever. I can get rid of these though now, so let's get rid of those. Awesome. But you've been watching this series, right? And you know that this. Ash of War, this Bloodhound's finesse, hits like a truck. It destroys enemies. Well, it's not destroying the enemies anymore, which is really interesting. All right, so now I'm going to go back to this race, and I'm going to actually head over here because this is important to go and do this, but I'm also going to cut it ahead, so I am going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Well, you could put a beacon down, but if you just go up the hill over here, there's going to be a bridge, and we're going to get to this tree boss. Now, this boss drops a very awesome, and I probably should have went and got this, but it drops a very awesome thing for your mixed potion. This is the thing I've been talking about, where we're going to be able to die and not die because this mixed potion thing will save our life. It is very, very strong. Let's go ahead and summon now. He does have a gimmick though, where he's gonna mimic himself. You thought your mimic was strong? Wait till you see his. And man, I'm hitting hard. I kinda missed his weapon, man. The burst damage, I mean, if you play defensive like this where you block and stuff, and then you find your opportunity, like, hey, you're not looking at me? Free damage. And I can't believe it, but yeah, the Black Knife is actually taking some damage now. Whoa, this thing is immune or something to that effect from the Black Knife? And right there, it just summoned, and they got wrecked. Because yes, you can actually hit both of them at once with an AoE and destroy them. Now let me look around down here real quick. I need to remember to put that on. And that's another reason why having this weapon is probably a good idea is because I can take off that stamina regeneration because I'm not going to need it that much. When you're doing the whole poke thing, you definitely want it on because you need your stamina to be regenerating like crazy. But with this, not that big of a deal. And I'm just looking for some minor items and stuff because I'm going to be honest, I didn't really explore this area much when I was roaming around because I wanted to just hurry up and start the episode and I completely underestimated or 
overestimate it. I don't know, underestimate it. That's the word I'm looking for, this area. I thought this area was going to be shorter. I just didn't think that, man, this area is going to take forever because the dungeons here are so much harder that it's going to take me a lot longer to complete them. And yeah, I'm getting swarmed. Hello. There's definitely some minor items or something over here. I just know it. I know it for sure. Can you die, dude? Please get out of here. And let's look around. Let's kill the little ones as well. And you need die. There we go. Hey, give me that item. What was that? Cool. All right. Well, let me keep looking around. I'm assuming where the enemies are, there might be items. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Come here. I'm really failing with my swings. Hey, I got the spiked club. All right. Well, I'm not seeing anything right now, so... That's not to say that there's nothing. Here we go, we got an item. Finally. Take out the little ones now. Pick up the item. And anything over here? Nope. So we're about to hit this other bridge and on this other bridge, we're gonna find that gold mask guy again. I did say in the last episode, we were going to progress this guy's quest to the end. There's also an item right here. And what is this? Oh baby, another nine definitely needed that but yeah we need to talk to him and I'm gonna be honest I don't really know the different outcomes of his quest I do know you can give him this thing which is this tonic of forgetfulness which I kind of want to give it to him but I'm gonna wait on it and the reason I'm gonna wait on it is because I know that right now I think they're gonna stay here and they're gonna chill here for a while but if we want to progress this quest further we actually do have to do the point of no return once we have done this then we can finish this quest now this is something about this right this is the guy to be honest with you why i talk about that turtle so much at the church of vows because my buddy he was doing this guy's quest and it was his first playthrough and he gave him all of the prayer books. He was doing a faith build. So he gave him a ton of, of the prayer books. And he was having a nightmare of a time trying to find this guy again. He was like, dude, I can't find that guy. And he had to look forever because he kept moving around. So that's why I say what I say about the Church of Vows and all that is because of that guy. But that's pretty much it for this little section. Yes, I still have stuff to do down here. But let's go and do this castle now. Now again, this castle, the boss. Oh my god. It. I don't know what's going to happen. I could get wrecked. I don't want to be too confident and say I'm going to destroy it. But if I do destroy it, just know that this boss is like crazy hard. Now, there's going to be double lions here, so let's summon. 100% summon because it's gank. And we don't want to get ganked, that's for sure. And they have ice attacks as well, and the ice attacks in this area are ridiculous and OP. So let's just go to town. Oh no! I hope they don't respawn. Lions generally don't respawn. Where's my black knife at? Like, where is it at? I don't see it. Yeah, this is nice. Being able to block with this shield and attack with my weapon is so cool. Okay, I guess the black knife is just bugged out. Man, the damage enemies do is so crazy. Can I just do a normal attack? Can you die, please? Okay, they definitely do not respawn. There's no way that they're going to respawn. So I'm going to come over here and rest because I want to put that mixed potion thing on before I forget. So we can take this off and throw on this. And what it does is that it restores HP when near death. So if you're about to die and you have that effect on, you're going to get half your health back. I mean, that is awesome. Super, super useful, obviously. Now let's go ahead and summon. I should try to remember to reset this so that I can actually... My god, why is he half health? That is amazing. That's crazy, actually. That's probably what was happening with the Black Knife. The Black Knife was fighting it the whole time, but resting at the grace did not reset this guy's health. <sighs> why is it always so awkward to hit these things? All right, die. 
I'm gonna go rest at the grace again just so I can restore the black knife and I can summon it again because I'll probably get to the boss and what am I talking about I take it back there is a grace I don't need to waste the time and in my little practice run that I did I didn't run through this castle because I have done this castle so many times to be honest that I feel like I'm not gonna miss anything but it has been a minute so we will see all right so we just got a smithing stone five which at this point of the game why is it a five I do not know but let's come over this way we had those steps going up over there now watch out there's gonna be some like OP birds and stuff in this area some dogs you know the whole thing and at some point there's like some ghost enemies and those guys can be pretty damn strong I'm gonna be honest there's a couple like big ones like knights and they are stupidly strong but well, let's walk in here real quick take out these slugs watch out there's more of them take that one out too and let's see how long this little effect will last see how I have that on me I'm gonna call it denial probably because that's what it is in like all the other games so just keep that in mind I'm talking about this mixed potion thing if I ever say denial or something like that that is what I'm talking about so up here this is actually a shortcut that we can get once we get to the top now this castle isn't like ridiculously long or anything like that but it's difficult and the boss here is just insane so I'm gonna take the ladder going up over here and we're just gonna look around and try to get all the items I do remember that there is an item that you have to drop down from a rooftop to get which that's the one I feel like I'm gonna forget at some point so hopefully I'll remember that but let's just keep going okay so we got an item here pick that up and then let's work our way over here hello okay so here's one of those ghost knights I was talking about and yeah with the shield oh my god the firebomb freaking hurt man they, they hurt I'm dead what am I doing oh I'm not dead <laughs> I thought I was though okay firebomb man screw you I'm gonna go the other way okay I'm just I'm gonna go the other way I'm sorry that's super frustrating getting firebombs thrown at me okay that's not the other way the staircase was over here and look the effect did wear off so keep that in mind if you're fighting a boss or something and you have that effect on from the mixed potion it doesn't last forever so sometimes you're gonna die and then you're like what the hell I had the thing on well maybe it wore off because you were not dying yeah look at the birds damage look at that I'm running I'm gonna run in here because I'm aggroing too much stuff so let's chill in here and wait for the doggos to come on in come on in and I'm gonna just do this because that's a good strategy and probably do that against the bird too to be honest with you okay no, I didn't do it against the bird, but whatever. The freaking fire attacks. Okay, yeah, these are the birds that are ridiculous because one of the things about these particular birds is that they love to do fire attacks. And yeah, the guard counter does work really well if they bounce off like that. But what those birds like to do is they come in and they do a fire attack to stun you and then they attack. Are basically they'll do an attack and then you'll block it or they'll miss or something like that and then they do a fire attack so that you can't do a follow-up it's like kind of ridiculous all right I'm gonna keep looking but I don't know I kind of feel like I have to take those stairs going up let's go all the way around over here and see what's going on so there is an item over here let's pick this up of course it's nothing super important but whatever and now let's actually start working our way up yeah so again at this point of the game when you're at the end game potions go really quick it's probably a really good idea to I guess not I mean I have 12 potions that's what I would recommend have at least 12 at all times but I've already used five I mean that's just crazy right so yeah watch out there's some archers up top it's probably a really good idea ow ow leave me alone 
There's also the grace up here, so if you really want to be smart, let's just do that. Oh, no, 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 dude, 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 dude. I gotta roll. Leave me alone, dude, please. What I was gonna say is run in here and just grab this right away. I got an arrow in my head. Well, I can't use it now. Oh my god, there's two of them now. Die? Yeah, this guy likes to teleport. Let him do his little swings. Do this now. Do our follow up. And I'm just going to do a guard counter. Of course, he blocked it. Alright, come on, come on. There we go. Now, that guy is worth like 2,000 XP. Pretty decent. And now I'm going to go back outside. You could backstab him, but I was going to say first thing is I want to take out this archer. Archer's freaking annoying, so just get out of here, please. And watch out for that. That attack is stupid. I did get behind him though. So as he's getting up, I'm gonna do my Ash of War. Follow up, and he did. Hey, I actually got the Great Sword. That's pretty cool. Let's pick that up. So there's a ladder right here. Let's go up here because I think there's an item up here. And that's it. There is some other stuff. What's over here? Okay, there's an item there. And let's go all the way down this way. There is another item here. So let's go and grab that. I'm going to go kill those other knights as well, or soldiers, or whatever, in a second. Because I ran past them. I don't want that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. We're going to do this first. Okay. Yo, that's scary, man. Are you kidding me? Why there's got to be two? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Alrighty, well, I'm just going up the ladder. The big knight, he didn't see me, so it's all good. So against this mama dog wolf, Ash of War, should have Ash of War right away. Because, yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, God, you're still not dead. Okay, we need to back up. That's just the truth here. We got to back up. Let them come to us. He likes to teleport, so if I can get him by himself, I would love that. Can you, like, fall off, maybe? Okay, that's fine, too. Oh, man, why did I miss? Giant horizontal AoE, and I miss. Bounce off. There we go. Okay, that attack is ridiculous. All of these ice attacks are insane. Come on. Bounce off. Boom. And that does, like, no damage. It really doesn't. Okay, that's the insane attack. And let's do our follow-up. And he did. Nice. And I got the freaking Halbert. Crazy. All right, Mama Dog needs to die. Let's drink your drink. Move on to the other Mama Dog over here. What's up? Let me do my jumping R2. Do my normal R1. And he did. Okay, I'm just looking around now to see what exactly is up here. But yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, that's pretty pretty tough. There better be something up here. Hello? There's like nothing up here. Are you kidding me? See, I don't even remember. I have bad short-term memory. Was there an item they were guarding over there? I want to say there wasn't. That would be insane. Like, what's the point of even coming over here to fight these things? Well, unless I'm completely tripping and there was an item there and it was important to grab, I would recommend not even bothering with that group. I mean, what's the point, really? Okay, I'm going to hop down. And here's an item here, but you don't have to fight them for that, right? Like, you don't have to. Take out these soldiers. Take out that one. And now I want to... Kind of get the rest of the stuff so real quick soldier please die i'm also just fighting everything so that i at least kill it once you know that's how i like to roll and i guess we'll refight this guy up here what up buddy where did you go all right he should be easier than the halberd guy oh my god maybe not because you block okay do your attacks there you go are you done you're done good now i can do my attacks and, of course, you block me, man. Stop it. Dude, that's so ridiculous. Can you please stop blocking everything I do? Okay, we're just going to play this game, huh? All right, let's just play this game all day. See, I would have thought that I would have knocked him out of stamina, but I guess not. This is, this is crazy. Can you... There you go, finally. 
Ah, I wanted to just do the critical. Hello, come on. Okay, normal attacks will hit him. That's the thing, right? Whatever you do, and there's that item I was talking about. You got to drop down to get that. Whatever you do, do not do the guard counter. Just do a normal R1 and you'll hit him every time if he bounces off like that. But let's come over here and grab this item. This is a legendary weapon. And is that like a shortcut? What is this? Okay, it's not. So this is the way we have to go over here. And there is a little path that we can also take this way. So let's take this one. I might actually have to go back and climb up that ladder. I don't remember. I just don't like these ranged enemies because I know at this point of the game, man, they hit hard. All right, please die. And if I had some range, this would be a lot easier on me. That's for sure. Come on over here first before we go to the other side. So there's a ladder here. Yeah, there's stuff down there. Let's go get that, I guess, first. And you should be smart here and let's actually or not oh god what the hell this guys are op here dude how did he hear me or see me coming okay another crazy ice attack there do my follow-up now hit him a second time i'm gonna start r1 spamming like a scrub there you go but it works so you can't complain about that and let's see okay we'll grab the item I need to figure out where exactly is that drop off. I think it's over on the other side where those archer crossbow guys are. Also, I do believe there's like a super crossbow here. Ballista, whatever you call that thing, right? And it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot. And it's kind of set up in a cheap way. So yeah, we got to watch out for that. Okay, so this is the way that we get over here, right? And wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I just mess that up? Okay, no I didn't. There's bags here. So, how do I do this? Let me look. I don't want to attack you, but I do want to get that item. Okay, this is not the item. Interesting. And yeah, I'm just looking around. The item's over there, I guess. Alright, I guess we're going around. I believe this is that locked door. One of them. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Climb back up. I see a hole in the wall. Let's actually take a look off the side. Oh, okay. And let's look off this side now. Good. This is kind of how you, you do it, guys. Like, when you're not sure, you gotta look at everything. So, yeah, there's some rats down here. Watch out. Try to take out the stupid rat. My god, everything hits so hard here. It's insane. Come here. This is kind of a preview, by the way. This particular, like, side castle is a preview to the other area. Because you have to do this to get to the other area. And like I said, the mountaintops of the giants is in-game. It's difficult. The enemies here are OP. But they're kind of nothing in comparison to what we have to face in the other little area. Let's pick that up. I'll take it. I need it. That's awesome. I don't know where you came from, but whatever. And I'm just trying to figure this out. Where exactly am I? I could swear this one of these will take me to the painting, but I guess I'm done. Let me look in this room again. All right. Well, I'm assuming we just have to climb up that one ladder that I started to climb. And I said, nah, screw this. I'm out. See you. But let's go back. Oh god, the bird is back. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't need to go that way. We do not need to go that way. This little ladder was over this way. So that's where we're going. And there was a bunch of slugs and stuff. Remember that? Let me just look around real quick. Again, probably. Uh, wait a minute. Was this the room? I think this was the room right here. Yep, this is the room with the ladder and the slugs. So now let's climb up. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to deal with the guy chucking firebombs at me the whole time. But if I do my Ash of War, I should be all right. Take a look. So we got that. And let's go around. But 
actually, yeah, the Astro War was a bad idea last time. What am I talking about? One thing is this guy blocks and he's got the spear. So let's do this. Let's actually come over this way and get some freaking cover. And that right there is the ballista I was talking about. That thing is so ridiculous. And there's another one too, by the way. So let's grab that item. Trying to find a place where I can hide for a second. Chill, man. Need some cover. Yeah, if you block it, it's actually pretty nice. But they do have a delayed explosion. So, let's try to go. Run, run, run. Okay, okay. Just keep blocking and keep moving. Now we can get to the firebomb guy, finally. There we go. And we can get this guy as well. And we are good. So this is, I think, the point where we drop off. But also we can go down here. Let's just slide down the ladder. I really don't feel safe anymore just walking off. I know it's safe most of the time, but I'm just scared now. But the main thing is we can open this door up. So the door is open. Now, let me go back up top because this has got to be the spot where I can jump off and get that one item. It's got to be. So let me look around somewhere here. Um, Where would it be? Over this way, maybe... No, where is this freaking spot? I cannot find it. Is that it? That ain't it, right? Ugh, no. Ah, crap, man. I know you get to it from over here somewhere. Okay, I'm up here now. There it is, all right. So yeah, you just got to jump up that way and we can pick that up, which is a weapon totally worth grabbing. All right, so now I'm going to teleport back to this church, Grace, because I think we've gotten everything. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything in the beginning area. Now we can actually make some progress forward, and we can get this shortcut. Not that you really need it. I mean, I guess you could kind of skip some of these enemies coming up, but the truth is, if you die to this boss multiple times, your best bet is just to run for it. Now... You have, like, these guys in these cages, and they're gonna scream somewhere. Oh, there's also those things. I forgot about them. Watch out. They suck. They actually will do insane damage to you. I mean, one grab, and I'm half dead. And that's with a lot of health. Okay, y'all need to die. Come here. I'm gonna just keep swinging until you're dead. But be ready, because this thing is gonna scream, and these ghosts are gonna spawn, and... You have to actually fight multiple of the big knights at once. It's it's a real pain. There he is. Okay. It's so hard to get him without some type of crazy range. Here we go. Take that guy out. Okay, come on, man. Die for me. All right, we got another guy with an axe coming. Take him out. I don't think they summon more than once. So it's not like you have to kill that thing for sure before. And if you do take your time, I think you're good. Let me look behind me. So yeah, we have this guy spawning on us, and I'm just gonna do this, and do this, and I'm gonna spam. Okay, never mind, never mind. He's got super armor. Oh god, now there's two of them. Why y'all gotta be so OP, man, with your stupid ice? Get me out of here! I'm just trying to roll back. Yep, yeah, yeah. Oh my, this is getting crazy now. I better not die. I better not die. Okay. I need to, like, triple jug. All right, no, I'm good, I'm good. All right, do this. Come on, dude, die. You, you, you need to die, man. There we go. Got one. Let him do his crazy thing. He didn't do it. Whatever. Can you bounce off, please, of my shield? That would be so awesome. Okay, of course you're not going to do that. There we go. There's going to be one more, by the way. So it's going to be a halberd guy. Because you have the guy with the dual swords... You got the guy with the shield, and now you're going to have the halberd guy as well. So let's come on up here, and he should be out here. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm wrong. There's only two of them. I could swear there was all three of them. And that's where you can get in a lot of trouble when you're trying to fight all three at once. Now, I'm looking around for items here just to see, but I do want to hit this shortcut. And yeah... I'm gonna say maybe the shortcut would be good. See, here's the thing. I really want to go and spend my runes. And I also want to 
have the shortcut available because I don't know about running past those guys. That could suck. But let's take a look. So, yeah, basically you can just use the grace over here at the beginning and there should be nothing in your way, like nothing. So you could just be ready to just run to the boss door, hit the door, and then you're good. But definitely level up. 100% if you have runes, which at this point of the game, I'm going to keep saying that. But you're going to get so many runes at times, you're like, oh my god. Like, how did I get a million runes? I have a million. I need to level this up, actually, in my endurance. Because I've noticed that when I die without the, the great rune active, I actually do. I'm fat. And I'm fat rolling. I don't want that. All right, so let's go and fight this boss now and be ready. Now, the big thing about this boss, he does summon, and the boss actually summons, I think, like, those big knights. So, pretty sure there's, like, two of them out in the fight. Now, he will resummon as well, so that's the only thing, but he's just strong. I mean, that's just the reality of it. This guy is just really freaking strong. We fought him before. This is kind of a copy of a boss fight that we've done before but this is just a way way harder version of that guy i should have drank the drink before but whatever drink the drink summon the black knife and let's go to town let's let's try to i'm gonna try to kill the knight actually all right bounce off so i can do this and my god the black knife is amazing the black knife just starts the fight off right away by just wrecking the boss with that one attack Okay, yeah, that right there, that little ice attack, AoE, that thing's ridiculous. And the Black Knife did that again. And I guess this boss can actually heal himself, which is kind of crazy. Come on, dude. There we go. Let me chug. Okay, that's an ice attack, so I'm just blocking, standing back. Just have to watch out. Oh, yeah, it's got lightning too. It's got the stomps. Oh my god, this boss is crazy. And it hits like a truck. Look at that damage it does. Insanity. There's a good chance you're gonna see this effect actually trigger. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. As long as I am smart here, the black knife might carry me. But I can't even get close to this thing. Every time I get close, it just hits me with an AoE every time like what is this this is like not real life like can i at least get one attack on the boss maybe oh okay i guess not all right black knife do your thing i'll just stand back here i'll let you carry me now imagine if you didn't have like an op summon imagine if you're doing this without it and you can't even hit the freaking boss because every time you get close the boss just smacks you like for half your health and all that like i mean that's crazy right Come on. Can I get an attack off? And by the way, the boss has super poise. It literally is hyper armor where it doesn't get stunned at all. I mean, that's ridiculous. And by the way, it can resummon those guys like at some point in this fight. And you're dead now, dude. Because the Black Knife has completely carried me at this end game. Well, I do not regret getting that damn thing now. I'm just serious. There's no regrets at all. That thing is absolutely the best freaking summon. There is no doubt. And I've been thinking, by the way, of actually summoning the Dung Eater just to kind of test him out. Because I'm pretty sure he's probably pretty strong too. Like, maybe not on her level, but he's up there. He's I'm feeling him. Because at first I wasn't feeling him, but I just think that like at this late stage of the game, he might shine more. I don't know, because the Mimic might be kind of stupid at this point, where the Mimic just wants to die. Where the Black Knife dodges everything. I know like Dung Eater from what I've seen, it looks like he dodges freaking everything. He's like stupid good. But we do now have this, so if we pick this up, boom. We have that secret medallion but now we have the left piece we've already had the right piece from before what's the blood stain over here okay so some guy jumping off the cliff a lot of guys jumping off the cliff what are y'all doing is there like a secret item or something why is everybody doing that 
Come on, get up there. What's the message say? Yeah. Yeah, nah, dude, nah. What y'all doing? Y'all tripping. What? Okay. Well, so, we have the secret medallion now, and pretty much... Oh, God. I just thought about something. Okay, one thing is I am not going to do this area, but I'm going to go to the Grand Lift right now, okay? Because we can get access to the secret area. And I'm going to get the map, and I'm going to get, like, the main grace of that area, but there's a lot of things I need to, like, do there in terms of scoping out the map, and I definitely need to do a practice run for the very first thing that we're going to encounter over there, because... There is kind of like, it's weird. It's like a catacombs, but it's not. And what am I doing? I just messed up. Oh my God. Yeah, don't do that. That was a mistake. I got to skip all these cutscenes. Oops. Okay, now we got to go back. Where is it? Back to the grand lift. So because we have two of these medallions, we actually have to hit like right on your D-pad. Or you have to use your D-pad. To select which one of the medallions you want to use so let's go ahead and do that now and it, we're going to use the secret medallion so stand over here and you have switch action so yeah secret medallion now we can skip this and get to the secret little area which i mean is it really secret because yeah, the game kind of tells you that there's this massive area up here, so you're going to want to figure out how do you get there. Now, just to point this out, like, when you do get here, there's no grace right away. And that's, like, shocking, right? Now, this is this little catacombs I'm talking about, right? And the big thing here is that there's a lot of invisible crap. Like, this is a legitimate catacombs. And there's a boss and all that. I've never done this place. I've never done this place because I've never wanted to do this place. Because I know that it is insanity, okay? Oh, by the way, these little dudes are some of the most OP little dudes ever. First of all, I mean, they're strong. 1,400 health. That's a lot for a little dude. But if they hit you, my God. All right, what is that? Okay, okay, yeah. We're about to get a giant thing, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we did. All right. Let's just block away, and we need to hit it in the stupid face. Come on back. Um, step. Can you chill, please, for one sec? Thanks. No? Okay. Like I said, chill for me. All right, there we go. Look at this damage, by the way. Now, these numbers are inflated, but yeah, I mean, what? 4,000, 3,000? I mean, basically, it's 4,000 again, let's just be honest. But yeah, the damage you do to that thing's face is insane but there's gonna be another one coming up so be ready for that but yeah to do this place you have to like jump off the sides and there's like invisible platforms and stuff you need rainbow stones all types of stuff to do it and look there's some messages here to let you know where to go a bunch of blood stains of people falling off and dying that's why i've never wanted to do it because you know me i'm not a fan of gravity and gravity's not a fan of me so yeah, I'm picking that up and I'm retreating because I do not really want to mess with that right this second. I will go back and fight it because, you know, I'm not a coward. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to break these guys off. And, yeah, they're actually... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm melting. I am freaking melting. Okay, here's a big thing. Hit this. Run past that crap and hit this. You don't want to die, right? Double chug. There we go. Can y'all, like... Freaking, oh my god. This is insanity. Just die, little guy. Why is everything so strong at the end of this game? Can y'all just chill? There we go. Okay, I'm not going to actually rest because I want to kill. Are you serious? Like, get out of here. I want to kill the octopus real quick. That's kind of the whole goal. Then I'll rest. All right, ah, chill, man. Fall over. There you go. Take that big juicy damage. I don't know why I'm coming back here to fight this thing. I mean, I, of course I'm gonna wreck it, right? Like, 
the octopus is easy compared to the little guys. Like, the little guys are the OP part here. I'm just looking around real quick. Nothing so far. But yeah, that's definitely a place where I need to, like, figure it out. I need to, like, do a practice run on that, figure that out, and then I can properly show it. Otherwise, it's going to be an episode of me falling off the cliff and dying probably 10 or 15 times and going, what the hell? Okay, now the first thing you might notice when you come out here is that, yeah, this is stupidly, stupidly snowy, so you can't see nothing, right? There is a tower over here as well. It's to the right. But the main thing here is that if you follow the light, you will find your way. And there's a grace. So we got the grace. And at this point, what I would probably recommend doing is let's put a little beacon on the map. And obviously that's the pillar. And let's try to follow that as best as we can. If we find the tower, is this the tower up here? I think the tower is up this way. Is this it or not? I don't know. I don't really want to get lost here, but... Oh, you know, I f remember one of my friends was telling me, and he could have been wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be honest. My friend who tells me a lot of this stuff has not been wrong so far, so... I want to say he's probably right, because he was the one who was telling me about the um, stone from that guy. And then I said I wasn't sure. But yeah, it turns out, yeah, he was right. But anyway... I think he was saying that there's like an enemy or something that if you fight the enemy, it gets rid of all this snowy stuff, which that would be amazing to get rid of that. So maybe I'll have to figure that out and find that guy. When I've done this area, I've always just kind of gotten right to where I'm trying to go. Item there. <laughs> I'll show you the map, kind of. It's over in this corner. There's some items, but that's about as good as I can do, right? Uh, that looks weird to me. All right, is this the tower? Please be the tower. I just want to find it so I'll have it on the map. Oh God, what's that thing summoning for? All right, I'm getting out of here, man. I'm about to go back to the main path and just follow the lights. I'm telling you right now, that's the way to do it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back and kill that thing. Maybe that's the thing I gotta kill. If I kill that thing, maybe it's not so foggy over here. Who knows, right? Please die. Oh my god, wolves are so cool. Dude, three hits for the three hits for those wolves. I'm getting wrecked. I'm dead. Okay, okay. I don't know how I'm not knocked off the horse. I mean that's insanity that I'm not. But wolf, please die. Let's go. Oh, stop doing that, please. Okay, you're dead. God, everything here is so freaking OP. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god! Okay. Bounce off, please. Alright. And now you get one shot. Okay, so when I'm on my horse, you take, like, no damage. Oh, maybe that was a mama wolf. That's what it was. It was a mama wolf. Those are basic wolves. Watch out for the cliffs. I literally almost walked off. And yeah, the message was a good message, to be honest. So right there, that right there here is one of those candle things which you can follow to lead you to a dungeon it probably leads you to the tower to be honest i do not know i'll figure out the tower later once i get the map but yeah we're gonna go and get the map grab this stuff along the way this is me following the path i say that but i don't see any lights right now but this is right somewhere around here there's lights okay that is deaf never mind let's make a left so, don't just follow the beacon, because you can absolutely die. Just be very careful here. Like, make sure when you get to an edge to look and see exactly where you are, because then you'll know, like, for sure, once you get close enough. Alright, but now we can... Oh, God, I'm getting scared. Alright, alright. We're good. Now we're in the open field. We're off the cliffs. Let's go get the map. There's a grace, I think, like, right over here. And there's, like, a tower or something. Or not. This is not the tower, but whatever. Definitely will go and get the map. Give me that map. Thank you very much. And let's get the main grace in this area. Which is located, like, here? So there's, like, a giant structure over there. And, yeah. Let's check this out. So, there's a lot of stuff here. 
I mean, it's not as crazy as some of the other places, but there's definitely several things. But the main thing here is this is officially how you get to that Blood Palace, which is a place that we still have to do and we will be doing very soon because, again, once you come here, that's kind of how you officially unlock it. So I guess I should go get this golden seed. And also, this is how you get to this Hala tree. That's what it's called, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I want to show you this on the map because it's kind of pointless and I can't pull it up. Where is this grace at? There is a grace. Ignore that down there, by the way. There's a convoy. Do not mess with that right now. That is not a very good idea. Or maybe actually it might be okay because there are some night riders, but it might have to be nighttime for them to be out here. But it's actually a gank. Oh, God. Why am I getting kicked off? Ah, oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. I can't find this grace. Okay. Very interesting. Oh my god, lightning. Leave me alone. I want to show you this stuff on the map, but I can't pull it up. This is crazy, man. And I cannot find this grace. I just want to find the main grace of this area. There's the convoy over there. So maybe I'm just lost. So I don't know why I was invaded by this thing. I'm, I could swear that the evasion happens over in, in the woods, like where those trees are. And yeah, I'm not even close to the, oh my God. Jesus, you scared me. I knew you were coming, but still. All right, you are strong. Oh, don't hit me with any of that. I mean, the amount of damage that the chip is doing is kind of crazy. My, oh my god. You know, this is not... This is a different evasion, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is the one that triggers in the woods. I could be wrong, though. Alright, die. So, let me go back to where I picked up that stuff. I mean, I do think that's very important. Hey! It's a somber. Okay, that's awesome. I will definitely take that. Because there's another somber you can get as well. Remember again that wolf lady I was talking about? Well, I think you have to take her over here to this church, which I'll do that eventually. But when you do do that, the reward for taking her over there is a, another ancient somber. So that would be awesome because then we would have two and we can actually get two of these weapons to plus ten. So again, I'm still trying to figure this out where this freaking grace is. I know it's somewhere around here. It's like in the middle, kind of. I always remember it's like south-ish. Maybe it's here. I don't know. It's like south of that giant structure. Like the most important thing here actually is this because that's how you get to the hollow tree. You have to first do that part. Okay, it's definitely not there. I want to say, see, the convoy is, is there, so it's to the left. It's somewhere over here. It's, just, it's so hard to see anything here. Is that it? I think I see it, right? That's got to be it. All right, we found it. So the grace is just over here. I'll hit this, and I'll show you exactly on the map where it's at. And then we can get the hell out of here, man. Mm -mm. Okay, got that now. And let me pull up the map, get rid of that, so so you can see exactly where I'm at. There is that structure if you want to use that, and it's going to be a little... It is kind of in the middle, but it's a little bit to the right. And once you have this grace, you're good, pretty much. You can get out of here, because this is your main grace. And we are now going to head on over here, grab all the stuff here, fight this boss... And I think I'm going to call it a quits for this episode. So I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's go get the rest of these items in this little area. So I have some of this stuff marked. There's really just one particular item that matters because it's something for the mixed potion. And everything else is kind of minor stuff that I just marked. And let me go ahead and... Try to pull up my map, but I can't, of course, because there's a million giants over here. Oh, uh, God, leave me alone. I don't really want to fight any of these things. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, this boss coming up, 
Okay, this is definitely something that's marked over here. It's a golden seed. Let's go and pick that up. Not that we need these, but we want to get them just to show them, obviously. Let me go ahead and head over here. I'm just going to put beacons down now because otherwise I might not be able to pull up my map. So this is a starlight shard over here. Let's go and grab that. And the main thing is that we're going to cut around this mountain to get over to where the mixed potion thing is. I pointed this out, I think, in the last episode? I believe I did. And yeah, a lot of these giants are actually fighting, which is kind of interesting. So here is another item over here. And let's go ahead and make our way. I believe we have to come down this way. And there is an item down here. Let's grab this. And then we can cut around. Now I do want to talk about this boss a little bit. Because this boss has an insane amount of health. And one of the reasons why I decided to use this weapon. I'm going to be honest now. Is because I know bleed works really well against this boss. And I want an ability to bleed him. Okay this is not right. We got to go the other way. And somewhere if we hug this mountain we will find a path. You know you're in the right spot when you are finding a ton of those hands and there will be a big one as well so he's gonna have a lot of health bleed works really well against him we can summon Alexander for this fight because we've done his quest up to this point but I don't recommend doing that if you summon Alexander you're just giving the boss so much more health it's not going to affect his quest in any way so don't worry about that but yeah you're gonna give this boss a ton of health and it's just gonna make him a lot harder now he has two phases phase one should be pretty easy phase two is when things get absolutely crazy and I mean that it just gets insane at that point and I kind of like fighting him on the horse for phase two mainly because he's gonna move around like crazy I mean if you think some of these enemies are annoying in this game because they move a lot you ain't seen nothing yet until you see this boss. So being on foot is like terrible against him. And I can't find this damn place. I always have trouble trying to find this. So let me hop down and let me look again. Where am I? Okay, let's remove this. I think what we need to do is because we just did a big circle is hug this side. Let's try that. And hopefully we will find this path. So I'm just going to hug the cliff until I will hopefully find where to go and I don't think it's over here no it's probably behind all this stuff I do know it's kind of more towards the end I should have actually marked the point of the map where we find the path because that would have made a lot more sense than the mark where the item is so let me just go ahead and look around okay we probably need to go around this so I will probably try to do this strategy where I think it's best that we save our summon, our black knife, for the second phase. We don't want the black knife taking any real damage in the first phase. So that in the second phase, it's going to have full health and it can actually do its own shenanigans while we're on the horse trying to hit this guy. Now his weak points, is this it? This is not it. Oh my god, I cannot find this. I had so much trouble finding this when I was marking the map. And now I'm having just as much trouble. Maybe it's down this way, I don't know. Let's just look. No, I'm going to go all the way around maybe? And down? Okay, that's what it was. Ah, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, you have to come all the way to this point. I can't pull the map up. Oh my god! That was a ginormous hand there. This is the path, and I can already see the little baby hands. Hopefully I'm out of battle, and I can pull the map up. What's all this about? Why are there so many messages here? Okay. Interesting. All right. So here's the point of the map where we're going to find the path, so you can see it. There is the grace, and it's just in this corner. Now let's go ahead and head on over and probably going to want to get off the horse so that we can actually fight these hands. Some will come up behind you, so be ready for that. And yeah, 
The little ones should die one hit, no problem. And they were gonna drop some goodies, watch. Somber sevens, how many do I have now? This is crazy. Watch out, the messages are probably about the fact that they're gonna come up behind you. And it's an ambush, so... I hope they come now, but they're not. I can see them up top though, so here comes some right now. And I just wanna hit you so I can turn around. Yep, here they come. So we got some behind, oh my god. Get out, oh, don't knock me off, whatever you do. Come here, there we go. Probably would have been better to turn around like immediately maybe, I don't know. But I'm gonna just block this guy. They do bounce off and there will be a big one coming up at the very end, so be ready for that. And the item should be over here. I don't see nothing right now. I'm pretty sure the big one kind of comes down once you actually pick up the item, or at least once you get close enough to it to pick it up. Where's the big one? Hello? There you are. Hey, buddy. Let's kill it. And then we can go ahead and teleport back to the other grace and fight this boss. So the reason I'm talking about it, the boss right now is because I'm trying to give you a heads up to what to prepare for and what to kind of do once we start this process. Because I'm telling you that, yeah, you may get wrecked here multiple times. I might get wrecked, I'm gonna be honest. And there's two ways to get to the boss. Either you can just come up this way and there's a chain you can cross, or if you just wanna be better from this grace, just go forward over here and you can just cross this chain. I think this is better because it's closer. And there you go. The moment we walk in, I don't think it matters like which side you walk in at. I think you can actually summon Alexander. His summon sign is inside, but again, do not summon him. You don't need it for the quest, and also it's just a bad idea because the boss is going to get a lot more health. Now, when this fight starts, you can actually be on the horse to just kind of save some time running forward, but then hop off the horse, 100%, hop off the horse, and block before he starts to attack start to be ready to block because you can block all of this and i'm gonna lock on it's this foot right here that we need to go after so we're going to kind of spam and yeah when you hit it you can actually do enough damage to knock him over there we go as you can see i'm hitting him pretty freaking hard you see how he rolls he's gonna do that like crazy in the second phase now this right here is gonna be a fireball that's gonna come out if you're close to it it's gonna blow up which is what you kind of have to do so it's best to kind of get close to it watch out for all the fire I'm trying to just roll out of here at any point you can hop on your horse to try to get away that's a very good strategy here if you have to get away and get far hop on the horse it's going to be amazing and in the second phase, he doesn't really have a weak point. And he will definitely dead angle you when you're blocking all of the freaking time. But if you can, you want to try to get as much damage while it's free. And I did block that. Let's go ahead and drink one of these. Hopefully we're not going to need FP for the second phase. But that roll is so freaking annoying. Ow. As you can see, he hits really hard as well, but I'm just kind of chugging through it, trying to avoid getting hit. Couple more hits. It looks like the back of his leg takes the most damage in the first part. But now things are gonna get crazy, and right away, do not get close to him. Stay as far back as you can. In fact, get on the horse and just get further back. And once all of his craziness is done, let's summon the black knife and yeah but he's not gonna really take a lot of damage here because his weak point at this point because he's losing his leg as you can see his weak point is gonna be his chest and I think his hands actually will take some damage maybe his head as well I don't know but they're very hard to hit I mean extremely hard to hit to the point where you're better off to just keep hitting his legs it's gonna take less damage but you're gonna actually at least hit it over and over again and yeah this is some creepy stuff man 
At this point, there's going to be so many cutscenes with these bosses, and they are insane. They are just amazing. So right away, he's going to take a lot of damage, which is nice. I'm hopping on the horse, and I'm backing up. Do not get close to that. You will die if you get close to that. 150%. So he's going to explode, put all these fireballs out. And he's going to have a lot of fire attacks here, but let's now quickly summon the black knife. Okay, summon. We got to move. I'm going to get hit. Ah, ah, my God. Well, that sucks. Didn't mean to do that, but let me chug. Should have maybe summoned a little bit earlier there. Summon the horseback. I'm going to... Oh, my God. Okay, I'm failing now. I am failing really badly. Come on, resummon the horse. Yes. Okay, as long as you're moving, those fireballs should not hit you at all. But he's going to constantly be rolling here. And that's one nice thing about the horse. I feel like it's kind of easy to maneuver, and you can keep up with him. Otherwise, you can't keep up with him. And when he does that, that's just free damage, because it's so easy to get away from that. And if he's going to go up like that, just kind of boost with the horse. Let the stamina come back. That's going to be a giant fire thing. So let's get away from that, maybe. Yeah, just stay away from that. And once that's kind of done, he's going to roll. You don't want him to roll on you with the horse. It's going to be a bad day if he does. But let's go ahead and start smacking him. The main thing with this part of the fight, I should have summoned that black knife a lot earlier. I would have not had any of the problems like I did if that was the case. Because as you can see, this is pretty easy right now. And he summoned some balls there, which is nice. Now, if you get close to those balls, they're going to blow up. That's what you kind of want. But on the horse, that's really not an issue at all. Really not an issue at all. And yeah, I'm just hitting his legs on the horse and trying to watch his movements to see if he's going to roll so that I can try to not get hit by it, just like I did there. And let's go ahead and get close again. And yeah, it's so easy on the horse. I'm telling you guys, that stage of that fight is insanity if you're trying to just keep up with him you're running after him you're trying to get him he keeps moving even doing co-op with friends on that fight is a nightmare just because trying to keep up with him every time you get close he rolls away you're like oh my god what's happening but yeah if it wasn't for me not summoning that black knife earlier I think that would have been flawless, pretty much. I mean, I took all that damage. I got wrecked before I could even move. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and that it has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future episodes of this series. And if you do, click the bell. That way you can stay notified. Thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.